foremost, I want to acknowledge and thank all the veterans who are here today and to acknowledge that here in El Sereno, we have a proud history of men and women serving yeah. in the armed forces. We are a patriotic community that continues to acknowledge those who have served. They continue to set an example at Woodrow Wilson High School, at Garfield High School with the people, the students who presented the colors today, and all our young people about what it means to be an American, what it means to love our country, what it means to acknowledge those who have put their life on the line so that we could live in the greatest country on this planet. And for that, we thank you. We also thank you for not only showing us what it means to be great Americans, but the hard work you do when you come back to this country to look out for others, to continue to serve our country. A great number of you have come back and become some of our first responders in this city and this country. So to our first responders, our firefighters, our LAPD, we give you thanks as well, for you run to danger, while many of us run away from danger, and you're there to protect us. Let's give a big round of applause for our first responders. Thank you so much. For me personally, I've often said that I'm very proud of my heritage, but I'm equally proud to be an American citizen. And I often think about that if it wasn't for our veterans who have created this great country, who have defended democracy, defended the security that we today enjoy in our country, defending the principles of opportunity, I wouldn't have been a council member. I thank you for the many other immigrants who continue to look at America as a beacon of hope, a beacon of opportunity. It was you veterans who have made that possible and why immigrants throughout the world look to America as an ideal country, an ideal place to raise their family, an ideal place for opportunity. Thank you on behalf of people like myself, immigrants who have come to this country for a better life. Muchisimas gracias. I mentioned that El Sereno is a very patriotic community. And it certainly is, because before we had this monument here, many of you would join us on the intersection of Huntington Drive and Eastern Avenue. Despite the traffic going back and forth, despite the winds, despite the rain, we were there acknowledging our veterans on Veterans Day, on Memorial Day. And thankfully, because of the patriotism that we have here in El Sereno, many of you got together and said, why don't we have a better place to celebrate Memorial Day and Veterans Day? And here we are today at the El Sereno Veterans Monument. And I want to thank the El Sereno Veterans Monument Committee and all those who got together to make this possible, to acknowledge the five branches of the armed forces and to acknowledge the sacrifices that the El Sereno community has made as we served in the armed forces Muchísimas gracias to all the Veterans Monument Committee. May you please stand and be acknowledged. Thank you so much. And today's ceremony, as we've mentioned, is to thank our veterans. And we have speakers today who will share their experiences and what it means to them to have served this great country. We began with Jennifer Rochon, who served in the United States Navy Reserves. We will hear from John Guerrero, the United States Navy. Daniel Arguello, a United States Army Purple Heart recipient. Uh, thank you so much to all the great speakers today. Thank you as well to Tony Zapata for all he does for veterans as a commander of the VFW, he continues to support all our veteran events throughout Council District 14. Tony, uh, you've done a lot for us in our office, 
reminding us how important it is for the city to continue to respond to the needs of our veterans. And for that, we also want to acknowledge your hard work throughout the years. Muchísimas gracias, Tony. And you, today wouldn't be possible without the support of the El Sereno Bicentennial Committee who helps put this event together as well as, well as my staff. Uh, please help them. Uh, please uh, thank them as well for helping put today's event together. Muchísimas gracias to my staff and to the El Sereno Bicentennial Committee. You know, fewer than 10% of Americans can claim the title veteran. And yet we owe this group of Americans so much. Veterans have given us freedom, security, and the greatest nation on earth. It is impossible to put a price on that gift. We must remember our veterans. We must appreciate them. We must never forget the tremendous debt of gratitude we owe to them. This is a guiding principle here in Los Angeles. I want to assure you that we are doing more and more every day to help our veterans. As you know, homelessness affects a wide segment of our population. We see more and more people living out in the streets. And our veterans are many of those as well. Over the last several years, our office has worked with the mayor's office to make finding housing for veterans a priority. I am very proud that as part of our joint homeless strategy, we have transitioned many formerly homeless veterans to housing throughout Council District 14. Recently, we broke ground for the Rosa de Castilla apartments right here in El Sereno. These apartments will include 49 units of permanent supportive housing for homeless veterans. Thank you so much for doing your part in accepting our housing for our homeless veterans. Whether you're a veteran of the Korean War, or a Vietnam veteran, or a soldier who fought in Iraq, or Afghanistan, or World War II, whatever the details are of your military service, our support for you should go far beyond a simple thank you. Someone once wrote, no duty is more urgent that, than that of returning thanks. It, it is great that we take the time to honor our veterans today, but it is something we can be and should be doing all year round. We can do this in many ways. You can volunteer to donate to a local charity that helps support veterans, from wounded warrior to the USO to the local American Legion chapters, there are many worthy organizations that need our help. We should also support our veteran-owned companies. The Census Bureau estimates that there are nearly 2.5 million veteran-owned businesses in the United States. That's nearly 10% of all businesses nationwide. We can go online to veteranownedbusinesses.com and find local businesses near us. Finally, we can use their examples, the examples that our veterans have left for us to teach future generations, as I mentioned, in what it means to be an American. And as we look at these kids and teach what it means to be an American, we must also protect the weakest and the most vulnerable amongst us as a guiding principle for our country. We must be strong as a country, but yet compassionate throughout the world. We must be gracious and brave as we lead the way to a better tomorrow for all. In short, we must continue to make America what we know it is and what we know it can be, irrespective of who we are as Americans, where we come from, or what party we belong to. Finally, as was mentioned earlier, I want to thank the families of veterans. Deployment is difficult for a service member. It is equally difficult for their families. Consider them and keep them in your prayers, and please reach out to offer support and assistance whenever they are in need. Thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you for acknowledging the service of our veterans. May God bless you and the work you do to make our community better, and may God bless our veterans and these United States of America. Thank you.